Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General love reading for my friends Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for December 2020. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's see what we can get for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, December 2020. Opening theme for you. All right, that was extremely fast. Two flyers out from the shuffle. And you get the answers you need are coming and bring love into the situation. So this can be an encouragement to open up for some of you or possibly for the person that um, you are dealing with. Talk about feelings, for example, sharing them in a meaningful way and then the answers you need are coming can be the direct consequence from this kind of truthful um, expression. So, let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Two more flyers out from the shuffle. Let's keep them. December 2020. All right, here we go. So these two were in a hurry. Ace of Swords. Talk about communication. Uh, Nine of Cups. King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, King of Wands, Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. The Moon, bottom of the deck, an energy that can be about things that are yet to be discovered, yet to be revealed, the unknown. Um, it seems that this can be an energy that is involved in the situation because especially if you resonate with the second row of energies we are looking at a situation where these two persons are not uh, yet talking in an active way in order to build the connection but they have the chance to do so granted the fact that um, it is important to Talk about everything in order to avoid recurrent patterns that especially the person in the second row may have experienced along the journey in love connections that uh, were not satisfying. So, guys, um, let's go for the spread. Let's keep in mind the moon energy. First row of energies, usually your person the person that is coming towards you, um, they can be particularly comfortable when it comes to express their opinions. Ace of Swords, clarity of the mind and truth be spoken. Uh, a beautiful energy, absolutely, because it is about a um, clear way of communication. No misunderstandings, um, straight to the point, um, extremely um, extremely linear, logical, um, truly a, a fine quality, this one, uh, that can be even a source for the stability of the person in the first row, because the King of Pentacles is someone that can be considered as established, you know, uh, a solid position someone that can provide for all his needs and um, someone that can be ready to do the same in favor of those that he cares about. Uh, the person in the first row can be um, quite successful, meaning that, that uh, they can achieve things um, with great comfort meaning that they know what are the steps 
that can bring in their favor a um, particular outcome. Nine of Cups, satisfaction, wish granted. This can be even um, a situation that can be true about the connection that this person may desire to build with some of you. Some of you that second row of energies, usually you watching, may have gone through um, quite a lot of challenges, guys, because these energies are particularly tough. We have an ending with the Ten of Swords energy, a completion about a situation that I feel can be um, deeply connected to the Seven of Swords in the meeting of the energies. A situation that was um, influenced by the Five of Pentacles, um, an energy about uh, some kind of luck mentality, you know, a narrow-minded vision of how things should be done, um, meaning that some of you may have been involved in situations that were not aimed at the best possible outcome, following with the meaning that we can associate to the Seven of Swords. So you have powered through these experiences, Wounded Warrior, uh, Nine of Wands, Heart Position of the Reading. This brave man has gone through uh, quite a lot, but he has powered through, he has persevered, he has endured. Um, he has learned quite a lot of lessons about himself and about the journey. So this can be true, uh, possibly for some of you. The Ten of Swords is a, a rough energy, but um, once everything has been said and done, there is still a new dawn on the horizon. The sun will rise up again, meaning that new opportunities uh, will manifest themselves in favor of a wounded warrior person, you know? So there is the chance to leave behind the struggles of uh, a previous connection, a previous um, set of experiences that um, cannot be considered as uh, a source of satisfaction and fulfillment. That's why in the meeting of the energies um, it is interesting to see the Nine of Pentacles. It is interesting uh, for a couple of reasons. The first one is the fact that the King of Pentacles may have the chance to encounter a Nine of Pentacles lady despite the gender, guys, um, we are talking about energies, basically. So this king can encounter uh, quite a match because the um, Nine of Pentacles is a single energy, so we are talking about two persons um, free and single to pursue the kind of partnership that can be the most fair for them. And the second reason of interest is about the fact that some of you may still going through a nine of wands wounded warrior stage on an energy level but you have the chance to move towards a nine of pentacles energy a complete shift meaning that this energy is beautiful. The lady is the primary source for her own satisfaction. She doesn't need anything from anyone. She can take care of all her needs. But at the same time, she is open to encounter a fair companion, someone that can match her values, someone that can match her aspirations, you know? someone like the king of pentacles uh, person for example because she has learned quite a lot 
about the journey the seven of swords is a tricky energy that she has no interest uh, to pursue she has no interest for uh, whatever kind of codependent connection that may have had some kind of role in the previous chapters of the journey so this one that can be considered as a tricky energy because as i was saying it is not aimed at the best possible outcome this is something that uh, those of you that may resonate with these energies um, are extremely aware of because you can detect if and when these kind of behaviors can take place before your eyes and the person in the first row because of the ace of swords a truthful energy about honesty also um, is not vibing in the seven of swords this way and so you can immediately tell if they can be um, a person that uh, can deserve your trust and then if that's the case we have a proactive energy with the king of wands someone that is ready to jump off the throne in order to pursue his goals there is passion and attraction also that can come to play within the connection between um, the person in the first row and possibly some of you or vice versa so this is quite encouraging um, let's clarify a couple of energies So I am curious about the um, Ace of Swords because it is an energy um, that can be about communication and so I feel that uh, it can be meaningful in order to express something that can help the connection to, um, to be established. Two cards, here we go. Tower, energy, and the magician, two powerful major arcanas. Um, this can be a bolt of clarity. Ace of swords, tower energy, the magician is a call to action. Sorry for the glare, guys. The light is uh, playing with me. So a call to action that can be manifested because of a clear communication. The tower um, is always an interesting energy because it can be about something that crumbles down because um, it lacks uh, solid foundations we can agree but it can also be about um, divine intervention meaning uh, a realization haha moment um, a light bulb moment a divine revelation also that can truly ignite a powerful change in the energies um, and then the magician is a powerful manifestor so no doubts that a situation can completely change itself he can make the best out of all the tools that he has at, the, at his disposal and he is the one with the higher vision so he can see opportunities where other individuals cannot see anything this person can see the opportunity to pursue a connection that um, they can recognize as a wish granted and they are ready to manifest it because they can see the value within it so this is quite something let's see in the second row of energies let's see um, the wounded warrior what we can find out about him two cards again so six of swords six of cups leaving behind rough waters which can be um, definitely true considering the five of pentacles the ten of swords and the uh, seven of swords moving towards scenarios that are more in alignment with wishes and desires there is an awareness also that can be 
about the ability to avoid connections and experiences that um, may be similar to those that were a source of uh, disappointments in the past. So truly um, major lessons learned from the uh, Wounded Warrior. And then Six of Cups, beautiful energy, my favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. The gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his art. Soulmate energy, past life connections, if you are willing to go down that road, I know that I would, so I'll tell you. But at the same time, core values, fond memories, uh, factors that can uh, truly be a source of guidance, even in the most challenging uh, times of the journey, the most challenging experiences. Some of you, if you are resonating with the second row of energies, are truly called to uh, trust your heart. Pay attention to what your heart has to say to you in order to guide you towards some opportunity that can be uh, possibly with a person that uh, you may know because the Six of Cups is an energy that finds roots in the past. This can be um, an old school friend, high school, early college years, um, depending on your age someone that can be meaningful for you and someone that can have you in high regards because the chance to pursue a connection with you guys for this person is a wish granted despite the fact that the experiences along the journey may have been different for you maybe you have even lost contact with each other but now there is a there is a new encounter so this is uh, this is lovely to see and we have the star bottom of the deck so truly a wish granted now we have a flyer i was going for the uh, king of wands because it is the energy that can take action. Granted the fact that um, the both of you are single and free to pursue whatever kind of um, connection you may desire, of course. So, one card already out and this one. So, four of cups, a little bit of closed off energy and the knight of wands, passion. So the Four of Cups, guys, um, usually gets the meaning about being too closed off and kind of running the risk to lose on a divine offer. Uh, I feel that this can be the defensive approach that a person can take because of past disappointments, something that didn't work. So protecting energies a little bit, uh, not necessarily rushing in a new connection the uh, day after that the previous one um, is ended so this is understandable but then because of the pure interaction that can be um, recognized then we have a shift the independent lady of the nine of pentacles can recognize that no seven of swordish behaviors are involved between the both of you there is trust there is um, reciprocal understanding even about the past experiences and for this very reason because the passion is real the attraction is real especially if you know each other so uh, basically um, you know that this person is trustworthy and vice versa the King of Wands is ready to take action and the Knight of Wands is a passionate energy that um, truly desire to pursue something that can be meaningful. On the other hand, I just want to point out the fact that if these two energies are past related, you are able to protect yourself from player energy following one of the meaning that we can associate uh, sometimes uh, with the Knight of Wands. So, 
if the Knight of Wands goes with the Seven of Swords, let's say player energy inconsistent and uh, not exactly uh, reliable, you have mastered your lessons about these experiences, you do not want to interact with this kind of uh, individuals anymore, so you will close yourself towards these kind of opportunities and you will pursue with the time that uh, you um, consider as the uh, most appropriate a connection that can still be passionate and mature with a person that can express their interest towards you because they truly care about you and they see the value in the connection that they may have the chance to build with you working together gaining strength from one another bringing love into the situation and this can be the kind of clarity about love partnerships that some of you or some of your persons if the reading is um, going in the reverse may have uh, looked for for quite some time so guys this is um, quite interesting let's see where these energies are going i will leave it at that for now i hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye